Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I want to share with you the breakdown on how I created this fractal flower uh, using Blender and Geometry Nodes and also a software. It's an app called uh, J Wildfire. Okay, the app is actually looking something like this and this is something that you can purchase at the Mac App Store. The app is, I believe, is using Java code and you... You can actually make yourself some fractals from scratch and um, the app itself I think is pretty complicated but there's a lot of presets and you can play around with all the presets and then come up with something that you like and then you can actually export it out. In this case I, I use this preset and the way I export this there's the function here called mesh generator and you can use these functions and basically you you kind of think of it like a, you want to make like a slice okay what you are seeing here is like a like a point cloud represent uh, representation of the fractal itself and you want to just export it out and you can set your cell size and the render quality you can go really really details and uh, yeah you can either choose foxhell stacks or point cloud but just use uh, point cloud in this case let me try and save this into the desktop and save this as flower x x and save so it's gonna take a while to generate the point cloud in the meantime I'll show you the so before in order to do this you need to have the import PLY that is uh, custom made okay so you if you install it correctly you will have this import PLY as vert with the vertices and color okay you might have seen me talk about it in a couple of videos before this import PLY as verts hopefully will make it into Blender uh, core so you can you don't need to override the PLY but anyway you you download the code and inside the code you will have this import PLY and you all you need to do is that if you are using Mac um, and using your Blender you, you can go inside Blender show package content and you simply replace the add-ons uh, PLY IO you need to replace this with the with the package that you downloaded from github okay so yeah this is the this is the uh, the add-on or oh, not not the add-on is the PLY you just need to copy paste the PLY from here I think I just I think I did drag and drop it and I lost the original. Anyway, I already copied it to here and I keep the original in this folder. Once you've done that, you restart Blender and Blender should be able to import your, your uh, point cloud. Okay, so this is Blender 3.2 alpha file import PLY. Let me check under desktop, we have flower this is around 12 megabytes so yep just import it we have these points if you want to render this remember this is uh, this is still just a mesh you need to convert it into point cloud using geometry nodes okay the first step geometry nodes select your mesh turn on geometry node mesh to points this will convert it into point cloud that you can render if you use cycles. Okay, so it's that easy. And uh, the next thing you need to know, of course, I show you before in the previous video, this point cloud data, PLY data, come into Blender with some other data. Okay, before I convert it into points, this mesh vertices have this attribute uh, custom color attributes okay so that's cool if you turn it into mesh point cloud the point cloud 
has color with the radius as well that you can set up later so this is point cloud fractal flower just a long name um call okay you need to assign create a new material assign this material this is going to be coloring our point cloud if we look at the shader we want to use attribute custom call and we, it should render our fractal objects okay it's, it's really cool it's really that simple and this fractal object if you actually render this out in real time using j wildfire you can see it okay this is using maybe when it's rendering it's using the m1 i think but i don't know uh i haven't checked it out but i believe it's it's also nicer to see it in 3d using blender this one is rendering using m1 if you use gpu but anyway uh so we don't stop here we actually can do a little bit more so instead of using and converting it into points we can actually convert it um uh, we can transfer the data and turn it into mesh okay we to turn it into mesh we you know the drill point to volume volume to mesh this will take the point data and turn it into mesh make sure the the radius is correctly set so it's not too big it's not too small not too small either you need to adjust this fox cell until oops okay i just put in 2500 that's a lot of data i need to be careful with the number there I need, my computer might run out of memory so let's let's reload really quickly so the idea is really to convert the point cloud into mesh and then we're gonna transfer the color from points into the mesh okay two steps voxel amount this time three i just put in 300 okay just for this example so now it's becoming 3d you can set smooth okay set material of course you need that set smooth set shade smooth if you want it to be smooth okay this is pretty cool pretty interesting um, you can get rid of some of the points or the surface that's too small yeah and then you can perhaps print it out as 3d or you want to bake it first as AR okay you first of all you want to transfer the color so you want to use transfer attributes of the color or maybe actually not transfer you want to yeah okay transfer the color from the from the points you want to transfer of the attributes called call this is the custom attributes that get imported with the PLY and you want to output it as new attributes and call it blah or something okay this is gonna be blah ah. yeah it works it works right away now we have this mesh with the mesh that you can you can now actually properly bake the color into textures okay Currently, it's looking like a very like a liquidy. It's not not bad. In fact, you can make like a nicer render. So the color is actually coming from J Wildfire as well. Um, you can use your own color ramp, perhaps. Just play around with this, you know. Because this is looking a little bit like like a flower uh, if you know there's a flower called Rafflesia Rafflesia flower and it's quite beautiful but it's a uh, very strange and alien and it's actually kind of smelly as well but yeah this is this reminds me of that so based on the the ramp gradient from the original color 
I just replace it using color ramp. Okay, so now we have this. So it's a uh, the next step and process is just basically create a. You can retopologize this, or just create another mesh with different UV, and then just bake this color data into the object. So you can create AR, or if you want to make. Uh, yeah, if you want to turn this into 3D printed objects, then yeah, try to make it as good as possible and then just render it, render it out, render it out or print it out and you can sell it. Okay, so from J Wildfire into Blender, thanks to Geometry Nodes and all this cool stuff that you can do today. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.